I don't know if it'll keep me awake or make me sleepy, <laughs> Whatever, but <laughs> yeah, I, I drank a couple cups of coffee at the Skyline. I usually drink a couple at the house on my way to work in the mornings. Okay. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's this stuff, you know. Uh, oh, the pods? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Tis what it is. Tis what it is. Yes, thank yeah. you. I was sitting here, I was reading this book, this uh, Winston Churchill mm -hmm. book, uh, The Great Republic, about when he was younger and he was writing about the early colonies over here and stuff, and um, or insurrectionists, probably, to him <laughs> or to, mm -hmm. to the, their stuff. Now, now there's a, you ever seen the movie King Ralph? No. John Goodman plays this Las Vegas lounge lizard who's a terrible performer, gets fired from his job. Due to a fluke accident, the entire British royal family gets wiped out. And by some fluke of luck, they end up tracing the bloodlines and stuff. He ends up becoming the King of England. And they're showing him around Buckingham Palace. And they just say, they talk about King George III and stuff like that. And they go, do, yeah, talking about that, yeah, that little insurrection you Americans call a revolution in a <laughs> yeah. war. Yeah. And he, and, Ra and John Goodman goes, he was telling this to uh, Peter O'Toole. Oh, we still kicked your ass and stuff like that, though, too. No, remember, we, we got our butts kicked. Remember now, you're English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Funny movie, though, too. John Goodman, Peter O'Toole, uh, John Hurt. Um, Camille Cordry plays a uh, exotic dancer who John Goodman's character falls for. Really funny. Uh, Natasha Richardson, yeah. I think, plays, uh, like, the princess of Denmark or something. And who they're trying to set her set him up with, though, too. And some of the funniest misadventures. Like there's some like there's some really funny scenes and stuff like there's one where they go fox hunting and they are pheasant pheasant hunting and that turns into a catastrophe. You do uh cream and sugar, yes sir. Thank you. <clears throat> Coffee. Will do. Well thank Jennifer. I'm just Yeah. <laughs> she sets it up, you know, I'm just I'm just using it. <laughs> but yeah, so So you're pretty much doing the Johnny Carson thing today? You're pretty much Fill in the guest host role. Exactly, exactly. You know, I'm. Uh, you know, and all the times I did variety show, I only had to do, have a guest host twice. Who and all, that, like, who'd you pick? Or I had that? you. I had Jen. I had a. Uh, Cassie. <laughs> Cassie guest hosted for oh, me Cassie once. Cassie did once. I had Cassie. How guest, interesting! I didn't know that. I've got pictures of Cassie guest hosting How for cool. me, and I ended up finding someone by the name of Caitlin Bell to guest host the other time. Yeah. She ended up. Ha I ended up talking to her because I couldn't find anybody. I almost got somebody like Robbie. Or I should have got Robbie or somebody to guest host. Somebody who knew. Too. Somebody who knew the format and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I've had guest host before, so. But it's one of those things. I actually, when I look back now and I see the pictures and stuff, I re it makes me realize how much I missed doing that. You're, because you're so good at it. I mean, like, you're just so good at it. Like, I've been sitting there, like, I've been watching my old my YouTube channel, and I sat and watched a lot of those old Arsenio Hall shows, thinking, yeah. a lot of, I didn't realize this at the time, though, too, but now looking back, I had two influences, I had technically had three influences for a variety show. Johnny Carson's too obvious. One was David Letterman because of the funny broadcasting angle, and Arsenio Hall because he was just so cool yeah. and hip and fun and... It wasn't. A, it was just like a big party or something, and yeah. that's kind of where I got my influences for doing the show. Was it's, but it's like you just. I'm sure I, I heard your voice either on a radio or maybe I, I'm sure I heard your voice before I ever met you or saw you because that's the first time I actually I guess met you or. Knew. It's hard to put a face to a voice right away, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Well, not you. Yeah. Yours, like I mean, like I've called Cassie randomly, and I, when you've been up, hey, somebody's got something to say, and you say something, and right away it's like, wait, Connor. <laughs> Some voices are just like boom. 